So I think, first of all, we have to redefine how we think about public safety. We've been, for a long time, linking public safety to tougher sentences and to law enforcement, and seeing law enforcement as the way in which we prevent and address crime. So in fact, there's lots of research that the most effective ways to prevent crime are making communities and neighborhoods stronger. So I like this example, which comes from a sociologist at Chicago named Robert Sampson. So you have a vacant lot in a poor neighborhood, and some community group decides to come in and clean it up and turn it into a playground. Well, now you have kids out there, and so there are going to be some grown-ups keeping an eye on them, and you're going to have foot traffic. And suddenly you just have a neighborhood that's working better. It's sort of like the opposite of the broken windows mm -hmm. theory. You don't use the police to clean it up. You try to make things vibrant um, from within a community. And that those kinds of interventions, actually, you can so cause an effect with the murder rate um, in a particular neighborhood or place. So I want to just change, just for a minute, just like set aside um, the courts and the police in this conversation and just think about the idea of turning safety into a value that we associate with the health of communities and also with trust in law enforcement. See, I brought them back a little too quickly. Um, <laughs> but I, there is a lot of evidence that when people see the law as legitimate and they trust the system, they are more likely to abide by the law mm -hmm. and to value it and to help the police solve crimes and to show up as witnesses in court Nationally, we have a, we solve only 60% of the murders in this country. No, those are the serious violent crimes that are providing are are causing this huge public safety threat. And we've created a system in which people don't want to show up as corroborating witnesses, um, in part because they have no faith that they will be treated well or that the system means well. So I think that is just this huge shift. Not so not so much about don't prosecute, but how to make not the don'ts but the do's. I guess. Right.